doing? You want to meet all the people? Come here, Nashi. Oh, dude, here's a big boy. So you guys all know Nash, and this is now Knox. Come here. Good boy. Come here. What are you doing? You want to meet the whole world? Say hi, YouTube family. Hello. Nashi knows you guys. Hi. Right? Hey, get out of there. Come here. You want to say hi to the world? What's going on guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be digging into the performance side of these Polaris matrixes. If you guys have been here a while um, for my first ever video and if you haven't seen that one go back it's pretty actually funny to watch. I was super nervous in front of the camera. I didn't know what to do but uh, first ever video was uh, kind of a walk around in my 2020 Pro S which had a big straight line performance logo on the side of it uh, obviously showing that they you know, we're helping me out. Well, they still are helping me out. And uh, I wanted to get into a video of kind of what they offer. Hey guys, I was just editing this video and I didn't do a great job of explaining exactly what Straight Line and RSI uh, provide. Straight Line is a bunch of snowmobile performance products from exhaust to clutch kits, to tool bags, to uh, lighting, bumpers, anything of that sort. RSI is handlebars, um, hand guards, bars, risers, grips, heaters, seat covers, um, and the list goes on and on. So just go and check those websites out, guys. They've you know been a huge supporter of me for the longest time, and uh, I appreciate that. The one thing I didn't touch on, and again, I noticed that um, that I didn't put on my sled, is the single pipe or head pipe. I do have one. I'm just trying to do this in increments, which is why it's not on there. Again, I have ran that. It's also awesome, but I just wanted to throw this in there. So thanks, guys. Keep watching. And there is a promo code at the end um, that is my own. So you put that in the promo code section if you're checking out and it will save you a couple pennies, not more than a couple pennies, but uh, I just wanted to give that guys to you. So, or give that to you guys so you can use that. See ya. And, and you know, putting some of the stuff on my sled. So um, Straight Line Performance has backed me for multiple years now. I think we're going on three or four years. Um, super great company. The products are incredible. And the support is always there. It doesn't matter who I call, when I call, I always get the answer that I need. And, uh, you know, I get stuff shipped right out and everything like that. So uh, thank you to Straight Line Performance. Thank you, Jason Huell, for always backing me. Uh, me and him have been in direct contact with one another here recently about a couple of things. So big shout out to them. But anyway, today we're going to get into it. And if you guys have watched the last couple of videos, you guys, some of you guys has point, have pointed out that uh, it sounds a little bit different. So I have. So when I took this all apart to check the coolant line and, and do my my chain case maintenance, instead of putting that big old honking factory muffler back on, I did put the straight line performance muffler back on. So it is just a tick louder, guys. It's not noisy at all. You can actually hear more of a difference when it's at idle. Uh, when it's up top, it's just minimally louder it's only like a couple decimals louder just has a different tone to it which is what you some of you guys picked up on so this is kind of you know how it fits in here so this is their you know trail can as you would call it you know or their quiet can um it goes exactly right to this you know same mounting locations you have your two springs up here um your one spring this is an added on uh little piece here it's kind of just a just for for this uh spring holder here as you couldn't, you can't go all the way back up to there, which is where the factory one goes. So you gotta remount it. So that's their remounting location, and then the one back there it goes right out the factory hole right there, and uh, that's it. You save uh, six or eight pounds on it, and again, it's only just a tick louder. It's not much louder at all. Much much easier to get around in here. Easier to get it out. Your uh, EGT probe goes right in there, so there's nothing to to worry about there. So that is one of their cans that they offer. I do also have, and this is their, their race can, I believe is what they call it, uh, full stainless one. Um, I got this just so I could do a sound comparison between the two. That's not going to be this video. That's going to be a separate video. So stay tuned for that. But uh, incredible product, fits right in there, no issues. So to the goody part. Oh, and it comes with all the, you know, 
look or uh, directions of how to get it in there and, and what you need to do. So that comes with both of these. This race muffler comes with a new donut that comes out the bottom. I'll go through that when I do that video. But another thing that, well, actually it's Straight Line Performance and RSI. Sorry about that, guys. So RSI and Straight Line are brother and sister companies. So as you guys know, I do run RSI risers all the time. I really, really, really like them. And uh, this year I got RSI bar pad, RSI billet kill switch because my buddies like to play the kill switch game as I'm sure a lot of you guys do. So this one you actually either have to hold down or press it. It's a button, I don't even know yet. But uh, that's a plug and play option. So I'm gonna be putting that one in there. The big thing that we're gonna be talking about today is clutch kits. Clutch kits, there are a bunch of them out there. Um, they all intend to do the same, you know, improve on factory. I can't do, say intend to do the same thing because that's not really correct. They intend to do different things than factory. Um, some are more corner to corner stuff, more, some are more, you know, top end stuff. It really depends on what you're looking for. And it's super, um, just like suspension, it's very uh, biased of what you want and how you like your sled to feel. So straight line does, um, a really, really good job of a kit, and I've ran this in a bunch of sleds now. Uh, Joey's Pro S has an entire kit. He has a clutch kit, uh, head pipe, Y pipe, and muffler on his sled. Um, but this is pretty much what comes in a kit. So I know I got a lot going on here, so I'm going to try and organize this up. But uh, so this is going to be your clutch kit. So you're going to have your primary spring, you're going to have your secondary spring, and you're going to have. I get this open. going to have your weights which are adjustable weights and me and bruce talked a lot about this in the one video the belt deflection video of adjustable weights and and whatnot so adjustable weights and then you have all your different washers that are in your you know there's specific things and then you have what is what so when setting it up depending on what sled that you have this will be your your setup sheet so pretty much you're going to go through uh, base hole, and again, you go right over here. So you have base hole, center hole, tip hole. So where the weight is located on that arm, you know, depends on how it's going to act. So you come over here, you go through, you know, each hole. Come over here, tungsten washers. So you need on the, in the base hole, you need two of them. So you just, you know, go right on down. You just follow the directions right on through. And then for the helix, where are we? Helix side B. So again, this is gonna be a, a dual rate helix. So you're gonna to wanna to be on angle B and I'll get into that when we go to do that. We also have to change the rollers over back over to the, the smaller rollers from the bigger rollers. I already have the clutches off the sled. The rear is again, just a 15 millimeter bolt. Watch the washers when you come out and the spacers on the back side. So this is the bolt that comes out. See all the washers that you have in that spacer. And then on the shaft, you actually have spacers in the back too. Let me get in there. See him? I can't even get in there. But uh, I went through and cleaned all that uh, last night when I took all this apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. I did an entire video last year about how to put these in. So I'm not gonna go through it in super detail. They're very simple to do. I will put the link to my video from last year up. Um, to get inside the, the secondary clutch, you gotta do these T27 uh, Torx bolts. You're gonna need some heat to do that. These, I believe these are 10 millimeters. Um, this is on a spring, so you're gonna watch, you know, you're gonna want to uh, watch that. And then your weights are held in by this Allen and nut there. So I'm gonna get inside these things and then I'll touch base with you. Okay, so I'm inside the secondary, I pulled the helix out. Again, you need heat to get these little Torx bolts out. There's a ton of Loctite on them, and I use an impact uh, driver and a good T27s. I've snapped a million of them. The only one that lasts is a snap-on. Um, so pretty much the only thing that I'm gonna be doing in here is just changing the spring and then putting that helix on angle B. Well, actually, and changing the rollers over because as we went over before, this is a dual cut helix. Factory ones are only a single cut helix, and this thing's still really hot. Ow. So we gotta just pull these clips off, put the different rollers on and go from that. So that's it for the secondary, and I'm gonna clean it out, but I'm not gonna show you guys that. Just wanted to touch base on what goes in there. 
Again, it's just a, a spring in there, he different helix. And we'll get inside the primary here in a little bit. Okay, so secondary is all done. That's a quick and easy job. Actually, it's honestly all super easy. So now we're to the primary. This is my makeshift threaded rod uh, spring compressor because the one that I use for the secondary, the, uh, the rod is too thick to fit through here. So local hardware store, that's what I did. So it's all these 10 bolts, 10 bolts, 10 millimeter bolts, holding the cover on, and then I'll just slowly loosen this out. Eventually that spring will not have any more tension on it. Take that cover off, change the spring, change your weights, and then throw it back together. I mean, this, this is pretty simple. Um, I got all the weights already set up. They're all, they're all done, all the spec. Has the, the uh, bushings in them already. So you don't have to take the ones out of the factory weights. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this apart and I'll show you guys what it looks like once I get it apart. All right, so I got the weights in. It's just an eighth, uh, eighth Allen and a three eighths nut. Just pull them out, put the new ones in, and uh, now you're ready to put it all back together. I'm gonna go through and clean this all really, really good and get the, the blow gun out and blow all this out and wipe everything down before I do throw it all back together. But here is your factory weights. As you can tell, belt dust is really bad this year. These are 1072s is what they're called. They're 72 grams, and the profile I think is a 10 weight. I believe that's kind of how they go. So that's it. We got all of our stuff all dolled up here. We're just going to clean it up and I'm actually going to call it a quits for the night because I got to go, but I will be back tomorrow, throw it all back on the sled, get it on the stand for you guys. So I'm excited. We're all back together. Everything is set. I'm just going to run it on the stand and uh, just make sure everything is hundred percent, you know, good to go. And and uh, I didn't screw anything up because there is always some room for error. So I'm just gonna get some heat in this thing real quick and then uh, I'll get it up and, and running pretty, you know, pretty high in the RPM and speed wise. <laughs> guys so everything seems right it's shift uh, you know up shifting back shifting it's doing everything that it's supposed to do um obviously i can't tell what it's going to feel like on the stand so i'm going to have to do another video someone's doing a burnout i'll have to do another video down the line of uh what i think about it but i have ran this kit before on my pro s it worked excellent a uh, really good back shift really good up shift just made it super uh, zingy is what I like to call it. It's not a technical term, but it's really what it did sound like. So um, I will be back with another video of what I think about it. And, uh, you know, that's going to, you know, that's that's really it. I'm going to do another video on what that can sounds like compared to the, the loud can or the race can, I think it's called. Um, I'm going to hopefully get that done this weekend. So, um but that's really it. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, big shout out again to Straight Line Performance and RSI for always having my back and always, you know, supporting me through the years. And uh, if you guys need anything, again, that's Polaris Ski Doo. Uh, I believe Articat, you know, just go on their website, put in your year, make model, and, uh, you know, everything that they make for your sled will pop up. And ATVs. 
and side by sides. So um, that's going to do it, guys. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.